This is part two. In part one, we told you that as the Dead Sea is shrinking, it's leaving rings, like those around the bathtub. But it's leaving behind a history of plastic use, and it's not a good picture. The scary thing? The Dead Sea isn't unique. Any salty, drying lake can do the same thing. Think desert lakes, salt flats, and shrinking inland seas. As water disappears, plastic doesn't go away. It gets concentrated. The salt preserves it. The heat shatters it. The wind spreads microplastics everywhere. That dust? It doesn't just stay there. It can travel for miles and end up in soil, crops, and even the air we breathe. Scientists think places like the Aral Sea, the Great Salt Lake, and other drying basins could turn into plastic factories without anyone noticing. No waves to wash it out. No rivers to carry it away. Just layer after layer baking in the sun. So the Dead Sea isn't just recording our past, it's showing us the future.